right? And action. Hello, everybody. You guys know me as John Bush, and I'm on this show, the awesome after party show. The Kyle Donegan sketch show is not happening tonight. We're just doing an after party that everybody can watch, and then after it is live, it'll just be for members. So why? Because we're getting ready for Kyle's stage show, which is coming up. That's going to start next weekend. We're working on that. And also, Jessica has COVID. I am right. COVID. I caught how, COVID. If good night, gone. everybody. See you next week. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> Let, Why isn't John do... just a close-up while he's doing the intro? What it, you know? That would have been better. You did a really good job, well, though, John. He did a great job. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it's good to appreciate all of you very much. And now we're on Kyle. Why is it on me? Here's the <laughs> intro. Welcome to the Afterpartisan. It's a moment to... All right, real quick, I that said I would, uh, John is going to be kind of running the show today because we're just we're just auditioning him. But I just want to say really quick, um, <laughs> Jessica has, a, has COVID, yes, but I feel like I'm nauseous again. We're all, I'm on puke watch again. This is not me trying to grab the thunder Kyle from Jessica always, because always she's getting all my thunder. Always, not, not always because. Want- the, the other day when I found out I had COVID, we were in a writing session and I took a test while we were in the writing session. And then I showed Kyle, I was like, oh my God, I actually do have COVID. And so Kyle goes and gets a COVID test and says, I want to take a COVID test. Really? I have COVID. Did he do that? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> I just took Jessica down. This is a lesson for everybody. If you cross me, I have the power to take you out of the show and you're gone and you're gone for good. She's gone. She's not coming back. She's not in the shows anymore. There's no more baby. Do you have a bros? (laughs) Do you have like a jealousy of other people's COVID? There's no evidence of that. (laughs) She told an anecdote. You told an anecdote. You were not asked back. Excuse Excuse me. Excuse me. We're not asked back. Let's let Scott Rouse get the side. We're going to bring Scott Rouse in. Well, um, as I'm running things, I would like oh, to yeah, say. Oh, yeah, John's running. I would like to say that um, I've had tornadoes almost hit my house, and there's rotation, and it's on TV, and there's, like, tornadoes heading me, and I get a hold, and I call Kyle, and I say, dude, tornadoes are coming, and he tries to act like there's a worse weather event going on in L.A. at the time. What? Yes. I didn't know Kyle's like this. See? Yeah. That's the show, guys. I'm done. (laughs) Welcome to the Afterpartisan. It's a moment to come on into the Afterpartisan. This is me and you. All right, so we have... They had to to leave for a second. I wasn't feeling well. Um, That's probably true. We have Scott Rouse on, and I don't want to really... We should just bring Scott on just to talk about how things are going. uh, Wait, aren't you noticing I left? That should have been the whole thing, like (laughs) Kyle's gone. We thought maybe you were throwing up. I did address it. I said he wasn't feeling well. I told you he he left for a second. Um, I wanted to say to Art of the Guitar, too, thank you, by the way. Yeah, thank you, Art of the Guitar. Loving the huge jump in the channel. Yes. Get well. You too. You too. too. You too, Kyle. Yeah, we are not feeling well. <laughs> Both not. Yeah, Art's been here since we've had like, I don't know, 50,000 viewers or something yep. as members uh, yeah. for a long time. Supporter. Thank you, Art. Art, and, also uh, a fan. Wait, his of... name is Art. I call well, him Art. That's not his name. Oh, it would be cool if his, like, his name was Art of the Guitar, like I a know, medieval knight. <laughs> Thank you. Hope Kyle guitar. feels better soon. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Kyle. I love this. Thanks, everybody. Hey, gang. Uh, we do have a special guest tonight is going to be on with us coming up. Uh, Scott Rouse is going to be helping us look at the Johnny Depp situation. Fan uh, let's favorite, bring him Scott on right Rouse. Now. Fan favorite. Say a quick hi. Hi, hi Scott. Hey, how's it going? Very good. Yeah. Have you been Excellent. watching the Jep the the Jep trial? I said the Depp trial. <laughs> Have you been watching? Yeah, you know, I really haven't. I haven't been watching. I'm so I'm so over all that right now. You know, I'm getting kind of tired of it. You know, but yep. but it's a big deal. A lot of people are into it. Thanks yeah, for being on the show. Well, thanks, um, man. We were gonna do the Johnny Jep Johnny Jep. <laughs> that I keep saying it. <laughs> um, Scott, do you mind looking at some? Because I I have a couple of thoughts on Johnny Depp. I, okay. He does a nose touch. He does a face touch, which is a sign mm-hmm. of lying, right? 
or it can Not be. necessarily. Okay. It, it so, depends okay. on what's going on. If if somebody touches their nose, I got a big nose, so I accidentally touch it all the time. It doesn't mean they're lying or telling the truth. It depends on what's happening. If there are two or three other things, if I could just break in right here, just one second. Yeah. If if when you um, you have a, a a cluster of um, cues and tells, that's when you can tell something's up because that just indicates that there's an issue there. It just says, mm -hmm. hey, something's up here. And you have to ask more questions about what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, to set this up a little bit for yeah. you, you're going to be Thank seeing... you. That was directed towards me. That feel better, I think. <laughs> you're going to see here he's being asked by his own lawyer. Uh, so this is not cross-examination. This is definitely, uh, you know, he's been prepared. He's going to be being asked questions by his lawyer. So uh, okay. supportive testimony for his own part. And let me just say okay. the level of how boring this is. We won't, be able, won't show you that much because he's <laughs> without a script. It's don't do that, Jessica. That was fake. <laughs> oh yes. Um, I'm powering through how terrible I feel. And Jessica's like <laughs> acting more. Um, you know the a lot of times actors. Uh, I don't. I, I don't know what it is, but there's like this self importance. They start all talking like they're British or and like they're doing a monologue from a movie, but they don't have a script. And so it's just the pomp, the pompousness of it. And then there's nothing like, listen how long he takes to say sentences. It's uh, kind of maddening. Tell the jury why you're here today. Um, pretty straightforward question. Can you tell the jury why you're here today? You know? Yes. Um. <laughs> About six years ago. Um, Already. <laughs> that's wrong to say uh, six years ago. Uh, whatever Johnny Depp. There is a thing on. called a sperm and an egg. Uh, About six years ago. About six years ago. What, what, what you're seeing here? Oh. Uh, <laughs> about six years ago. Ever heard. Well, what this right. is, you're just seeing him act. He's acting like yes. the character that you think he is. And this yeah. is when, when people get up in their head for too long, too many people kiss their hind end, they get this, uh, they start talking about themselves in the third person. Johnny Depp wouldn't do that. Johnny Depp wouldn't do this. Johnny Depp wouldn't do that. He may not do that, but that's what you'll see quite often. Exactly. And, um, exactly. Johnny Depp wouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, Miss Hurt. Miss Hurt. Uh, soon quite heinous and um that's the touch uh disturbing but uh, he's pinpointing he's that he's making a big deal uh, what did you say yeah he's ma he, he's making he's he's touching his nose because he's he's making that a point that's the big point he wants to make in here is to say she's not a good person and then go on to tell some things about her yeah. so that that's what that's about when he says she's a, a heinous whatever that's heinous when he's words. in other words that's an illustrator of him of making about what a big deal that is at that point. Illustrators are the things people use when they uh, want to, when they emphasize specific words or phrases, you know, specific words or phrases, like I did, did just then specific words or phrases. And that's what he's doing. He's making it, he, this is a big deal to him. He wants, really wants to get that out. So that, because that's why they're there. Cause he's right. He's mad at it. acts. Um, against, uh, me, there were, by the way, these are the highlights. That's how yeah. boring this guy is. Yes. There were there times. Were. One day we went to the mall and I bought a shirt and Amber told me I looked like a fat whale. <laughs> um, arguments and um, things of that nature, but never did I myself reach the point of um, uh, striking Miss Heard in any way, nor have I ever struck um, any woman. Um, you believe that, Scott? You're our expert. Yeah. You believe it, yeah. Yeah, in my yeah I, I, I believe him so far. I've probably been in the industry 30 plus years, 35 years. It is. Um, <laughs> never have had any problems, anything like that. And 
I had met many people over, over the years, many, many of the people, and had had the opportunity to talk to those people and to um, have, have dinner with those people. people. <laughs> it's, it's odd to, because he's very controlled. And That's what's going on here. He's, con he's, he's uh, contained. We call that being contained because he's not, he's not letting anything big out. He's not being um, overboard, not going overboard, not making any big, huge gestures other, other than his nose touch so far. And like, again, that just, that was just the nose touch. That might be the, the biggest thing that happens in the whole thing. Cause he really wants to get that point across. Yeah. That was the exciting part was when I touched my nose. <laughs> this little, these little wrinkles you're seeing up here called the glabella, this little area there. So yeah. those are wrinkled. We're not seeing the grief muscle, which looks like an upside down horseshoe. And that would mean mm -hmm. he would feel bad about it or he, or he would feel sad about it or grief. He's, he's, uh, he's just contained at this point. That's all we're really seeing. And he knows what he's going to say. He's been over this a thousand times. And yes. I don't think he hasn't because he's an actor and he knows how to remember all that stuff. Yes. So he's going sure. these, through these point by point by point. And so those long breaks are the breaks where he goes to each point. And the longer he waits, the longer... The more bored we get. And the more, what about that hairline? More, that hairline looks very good. Is that, are those plugs? Looks very yes. solid. Those, those, those are, are plugs. plugs going, it's very good hairline. Part. I Wait, don't know. I have no idea. I, plugs don't look that good. You on Johnny Depp, plugs. they do. <laughs> I don't My know. No, I mean some people have great plugs. This cat spends six grand on wine. Years, years. I, I didn't want anybody. Guys, a parakeet watches a show. Believe that I came vodka. Done, done them wrong or lied to them or that I was a fraud. I I am I, I pride myself. Listen Wait, to this part. Honesty. I pride I myself on truth. Truth is the only thing I'm interested in. There are lies will get you nowhere, but um, <laughs> lies build upon lies and build upon lies. It's too much to cover. I, I lies upon lies. I'm obsessed. Lies, 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 lies. Can I, Today is Johnny. My... Can I ask you a question? Oh, that's it. He goes. I'm obsessed I'm with the truth. Obsessed with the truth. And... Johnny, can I ask Johnny a question? Yes. Uh, I just was wondering about lies. Can you explain lies, the lies thing again? Lies upon well, lies. Lies upon lies upon lies. And then after that, are there more lies? Well, of course, we just. Uh, you know, lie once and there's another. Fool me twice. Lie, lie once, fool on me, lies again. Lie, <laughs> lie, 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 lie. Wait, that's Simon. Okay, Simon and Garfunkel. So, um, wait, Johnny. I mean, can we watch any more of this? Is it is it all tolerable? Wait, what was your uh, milk oh, yeah. lemonade? Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, There's we, a lot we're, there. We're getting that, Kurt. We're Wait, getting there, What was Kurt. that? Uh, God. All right. Let's. Uh, oh, is this the clip where he's. <laughs> what is we're it? We're getting there, Kurt. <laughs> we are? Well, it's very Never hard. Never mind. To get Just kidding. <laughs> um, all right. Let's move on. Here we go. Six million dollar cat. Johnny De Amber never strolled down. That's true. So it seems like the, uh, the Scott Rouse, uh, if I'm hearing you, very contained and seems to be telling the truth there. Yeah. It seems to be. Being honest, that it is, he's not showing any classic cues of, of deception. You know, he's so he's he's talking right along. He's making the points he wants to make, and he's got he knows exactly what he's going to say. And don't think he hasn't had somebody go through the. I do a lot of, of uh, trial uh, consulting, and he's had somebody go through it and say, make sure you make these points. So he's making those points, but he's using his words. But they said say this, this, and this, but he's using his words to say this, this, and this nice. instead of the, the specific terms they used. Have you guys seen Burmy brother, just to say thank you for getting all of us through the COVID blues. You guys are funny and hell of a team. Thank you, Burmy. Thanks, Burmy. Burmy. Brother. Burmy. That gets us through. Your support gets us through. Sad to see Depp suffering from late stage Marlon. <laughs> he is like Marlon Brando. <laughs> Have you guys seen this Terrence Howard um, insane? Like he went to the University of, or Oxford University. How old is this? I think it's a couple years old, maybe. Because I want to make sure it's it's not the same one I already saw that I'm like, oh my god, is he keep doing this? He's known for going off on weird tangents. Well, it, well, just like another example of, I don't know if it's the actor thing where you, you're 
you're kind of told you're great or something and then you kind of get you don't have a script anymore but you keep doing like you're reading a script or something this mm. guy talks about how he's figured out how numbers work or something <laughs> but <laughs> They imagine they brought him here because he's a famous actor, and then he starts saying this stuff. Right. Resequencing. The carbon is also the key of E and yellow. If you want to eat healthy and feel your best, oh, sorry, you... everybody. That's no fun. He broke you guys into see a commercial. <laughs> no. He's talking about carbon and how, what color it is. It's just insane. <laughs> the ATCGs. It turns out hydrogen, they used to think that energy. The, the body transferred or understood the energy information through electricity. They're finding out it's through frequency. <laughs> Look at the guy sitting back. He had all these acting questions for him. But the like, thing is, what, what, we're, what we're looking at here is this. When he's doing all these, all, all these movements and all these well, gestures, yeah. he said this, he's, he said it a lot up here, but he hasn't said it out loud a lot. He knows what he's going to say, but he hasn't said this before. He hasn't said this or hasn't rehearsed oh, it. He, yeah, he's, he's riffing, you're comfortable. saying. That's why his illustrators happen before he speaks. He, he's because riffing on physics? Yeah. So, hydrogen yeah. sounds like. It's a key of E. Guess what? Um, and it's a color yellow. That's so hydrogen is in the key of E and it's a color yellow. Is that true? I'm Look Googling it because I want to know. If it turns out he's right, that's fucking crazy. But I don't know how that can I don't be. think. I don't think a molecule is in a key of anything. Well, they say the universe is in a key of B. Is oh. that right? From what, that's from what little understanding I have of, or have read about it. They say I mean, that the universe is in the key of Earth. Yeah, I think it's B or B flat. Maybe it's B flat. And is that like that microwave like you had to have echo? The, right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. The, whatever whatever the the tone of of the universe is, is supposed to be, in, I think, in B. He so said hydrogen why that would be or how B. that would be. Pardon the pun, I don't know. Another phosphorus, two more oxygen atoms. Now these are the legs of that double helix. These are the legs. Now the the ladder steps. Now, these are Oxford students. You're like very smart kids, <laughs> and they get this actor come in, who I don't know his educational background, but I don't you think didn't it's learn that, that that bees are the legs of the <laughs> of the molecule. <laughs> They become the adenine, the guanine, the cytonine, and thymine, thymine the ATCGs. It turns out hydrogen, Here they used comes. to think that energy, the, the body transferred or understood the energy information through electricity. They're finding out it's through frequency. Well, well guess what hydrogen sounds they? like? Mm. It's a key of E. Guess what? Um, and it's a color yellow. That's what proper physics gets you to. Hyd you're right. He's not rehearsed. No, <laughs> no. He, he's, uh, he's read this a few times and he's thought in his head what he's going to say, but he hasn't said this stuff out loud yet. That's why we're, we're seeing the really slow and then his gestures go before his word. But he, gestures should hit, or, you, or your illustrator should hit on the words. His are hitting, he's doing this rolling thing because he's not sure. He's not right on the money. Mm, he's yeah. just telling you about physics. <laughs> and it's, and it's, I think at the same time he's thinking who he's talking to, but he must be a little, uh, uh, the, apparently Adam's somebody water. thinks he's smart. He maybe he is brilliant. He may be, I don't know. I feel like but, before um, this, there was a, he watched a YouTube video and <laughs> someone dared him. Like, I dare you to just go just, I know you only saw it once, but just explain physics to this. What's that? I think you're right. I think he saw some video, but I don't think it's a dare. I think he saw it and he was like, Oh, maybe oh yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, but I mean, Matt, it kind of feels like it was someone just stared at him. Oxygen is a chartreuse and it's the like, key. I'll give you, I'll give you $20,000. If you go to Oxford and you just talk <laughs> about physics and just make up whatever you want, you just have to speak for 45 minutes in a row about physics. And they're going to expect you to talk about like empire or whatever, but Kyle, what's, what's you yeah. should make, we should make a, like a Ted, like Ted talks of just celebrities telling people about physics of impression <laughs> she do like <laughs> ted lectures from celebs they're just impromptu lectures yeah i think he was doing so. this this whole thing with his entourage or something and they were all, all his buddies were going you should you should do this at oxford you should tell those dudes at oxford this and he's like i will i think i don't think you have friends if you do this <laughs> well if if he was this smart he wouldn't be doing that he wouldn't be he wouldn't be phrasing things the way he is he's not using right. the, the vernacular you would use if you were a physicist. Right. Mm -hmm. This is very young. 
but he gets this thing. I'll I'll just fast forward, but where one times one doesn't equal one, <laughs> and <laughs> one times truth. zero doesn't equal zero, because he's like, where'd the one go? And then students start going like, try to explain to him where it went. The carbon is also the key of E in yellow. Okay. E, it doesn't hit it. Can't be created or destroyed. So if one times zero equals zero, because we well, that's what we were saying. My question actually has to do with your uh, number. <laughs> She's like, uh oh, this is probably a physics student. First theory. Um, so yeah, if by your logic, breathing. yeah, he's yeah, like, he's uh oh, breathing. I have to field questions. You say one times one equals two. Even this look, Scott. You tell me this like long look at the glass. Well, the way he's sitting, that's a that's a confidence look. That's that's the way you when you are the alpha of the room. That's the way you would sit. And the guy on the on to, to his right on the left in the picture is trying to do that, but he can't pull it off. But you know who does this really well? Me better than anybody oh. I've ever seen. Nate Bargatze. Really? Nate. That guy. Is, oh. He's the most confident sitter I've ever seen in my life. Interesting. A, I'll check that out. Yeah. He was on a show and it and and he's sitting in this chair and you look at him and go holy smokes and it looks more confident than this this guy just looks cocky but but yeah. Nate really looks confident when he oh when God. he does that. I cool. haven't watched looked at Nate sitting in like many years and I I wish I had looked out for his alpha sit now. I used to want, like look out for his sitting and I I stopped. Jessica, let's uh, on puke watch. Where are you? I'm at like a I'm at like a nine. On your puke watch. Mm hmm. Um. Where am I? On? I'm not on puke watch. You're not on puke watch. She's on coach. She's oh, coach. by the way, let me do this real quick. I made something for you, Jessica. Okay. Oh no. We'll get, we'll get back to his number theory. But you know how when like someone passes away at like a like a high school, they, they do like the in memoriam. They say, oh, they were great, not this thing. And then the Oscars, they do in memoriams. You know. But I I think they should do it while the person's alive. And just and I'm sure you're gonna live through COVID. Like. But there are stats where you could die. You know what I mean, right? Yes. So I made this in memoriam for Jessica. I don't have any milk for my bottle. Oh, well. Oh, wait, that's not it. <laughs> Hold on. She's a baby. Oh, they have stronger immune system. <laughs> you're going to be fine. I'm just saying, just in case you're not, I made this. <laughs> Let's see. Sorry. Here we go. In memoriam. Excuse me? I don't have if you will watch, baby, get that off the screen. <laughs> Sorry. You have to pay your credit card. You should be. That's that's her singing, by the way, Arms of Angel, which we never used. <laughs> oh, it's Jessica singing. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can use it. No. You didn't want me to play this. Please. So you can remember you. Do it. Do it. This is my. I get to watch my funeral. Yeah. It's the video. <laughs> Baby. Oh, so what the it. hell? Is this a show? I got it. We had jumping jack videos. I got it. I don't have any milk for my bottle. Oh, well. What the f What the fuck you mean they're not here yet? They, they haven't. <laughs> Didn't we have like 50 people wanting to play this? Yes. Baby, hit on yours. Oh, Look at her <laughs> She can't even read. She's like three years old. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with her? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was Isn't that nice. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah, thanks, Kyle. That was really sweet. Yeah, you're welcome. I wanted to do something for you. Thank you, Kevin, for the super sticker. I always want you know everybody to remember me. That's how. Just so you could see your funeral. That's what we would have show. That's what we will show. <laughs> Things don't go great. I'm sure you're gonna be fine. Um, but just in case, that's what we're going to do. Um, Kayla Jean. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Routes. If you had to diagnose Amber Turd oh. <clears throat> with a psychological condition, would we be learning to... some, John, you're in control of the show. Would you be leaning mm -hmm. towards the covert malignant narcissist BPD or something else? Thanks. Okay, BPD for... is bipolar disorder. I, I don't think she's bipolar. I think she's just a narcissist. And I don't think she's covert. I think it's, it's, it's pretty out in the open. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, but I do think she's malignant. Could know. I tell a long, boring story? About <laughs> yes, you would. Her, her, her. 
Oh, well, can I ask? Because I do have questions for Johnny. First yeah. of all, can you tell about the time where she uh, she maybe pooped on the bed? Could you talk about that? Yes, we were. Uh, we get close up on Johnny too. Mm, close up on Johnny. <laughs> well, we uh, she was on the bed, and I asked her why she had pulled her pants down, and she quoted the movie Forrest Gump. She said, <laughs> "Life is like a box of chocolates, and here's one on your bed." Okay. Wow. Mm. And then Getting what about? No talent. <laughs> what about you? Said there was something about she. She compared your, uh, like a pirate stump leg on Pirates of the Caribbean mm. to your anatomy or something. Yeah, six years ago, <laughs> I had gotten a wonderful script mm, about a pirate. Right. And this pirate had a parrot on its shoulder and the pig leg. And I brought the pig leg home and the parrot. And the pig, the parrot <laughs> said, when the parrot met Ember, she said, Brag, she's a cunt. Okay. Okay. To her, I knew there was something with that. Six years ago. I have another story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll stop doing him. Oh my God. It's boring to do him and to see him. You do milk, milk, lemonade. Kurt does milk, does milk, milk, lemonade. How much for you to record an impression? Would love to know. Ooh. $10. So it's good that he. Mm. <clears throat> How much to record an impression? I was saying I, I do have Sly on Cameo, and I was I, I can do whoever. Like people ask me to do different people, and I do that. People on want Johnny Depp, I bet. I bet you could sell a lot of Johnny Depp. Yeah, I was thinking of promoting Cameo more. I just uh, it's at a nice pace, but um, I, I like doing them. They're kind of they're kind of fun to do. You know. Do you get many Wendells? No, I don't think I've ever done a Wendell for. I've done a few Bidens and and Caitlyn Jenners. It's Wendell's just says, my favorite one. Isn't Wendell uh, fabulous? I can yeah, I could do coming. Wendell. Yeah, I have a um a cameo. Um, we all have cameos, I think. Yeah. Johnny doesn't. Johnny doesn't. Johnny got to say about cameo for your Peter the Perv. I gotta have Peter. The Scott Perv. Rouse, do you have a cameo? No, nobody wants me to talk to him. I <laughs> doubt that. I disagree. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do some body language they of their yeah. spouses, or <laughs> yeah. I bet that'd be funny. Someone gives you, yeah, you could uh, analyze a video. They send you a video of their spouse, and then you could <clears throat> say horrible things about this. <laughs> or Scott, true. you could do it, and then you could you could do a bunch of like indicators during it to like belie what you're saying or not. Oh yeah, yeah, Maybe. Maybe. yeah. Well, so Terrence. Yeah, I have a question about Terrence. Did he? What was the reason for him bringing up that molecules are colors and? Okay. Like, where does it all end up? No, it's 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 such a great question, Kurt. But there is no good answer. He was brought there to talk about acting, and he went rogue. Okay, here's a, qu uh, two. a question. Um, are you insinuating that one times zero then equals one? Equals one. Well, that's what we we're. That <laughs> means like equals he's saying one. he's saying one. He's saying times and addition are the same thing. Like he he doesn't have any distinguish distinct. Does he explain why stop it talking. equals one? <laughs> Same with the identity principle, the identity property. It says that one times nothing. <laughs> Look at the guy sitting next to him. He's like, oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah. Equals nothing. But, but see, the guy sitting Something, next to him. Let's, let's talk yeah. about that guy just for a second. Look at yeah. him just one second. Uh, look where, look at the, now your attention go, your, your feet will show where your attention is. If you'll see someone sitting down, oh. these oh. people's feet should be pointing forward. This guy's foot is his uh, right foot is pointing away from this guy. One foot is pointing toward him, but the big one is pointing toward the um, toward the audience and away from him. But look at his hand, like he's doing this, and mm. he's leaning away from him like that. That's <laughs> odd. Like it's this. an odd looking. Yeah, so he's an odd almost, looking. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. So it's almost like Scott. It's like he. It looks, it looks to me like he's trying to shrink away into the chair, like get me out of here. Yeah, I, I think this is starting to. I think he's if he's the guy that brought him in, he's thinking, "Oh no, this is this is not you know shit. Mm -hmm. This isn't a good idea because I think it's it's turning on him. It's yeah. going sideways." That conflict. Yeah. 
that that was started? Well, that's because of the math. The math. The and look at this girl down here. Look at the, the girl down there on the right found- doing her hair. Just go back <laughs> just a little bit. You'll see the girl. Nobody's interested in this. This girl here oh, no. on, on the right in the black uh, next to the Sorry. girl in the green. Watch her yeah, start like, her hair. It's so long when I just do a little click. Oh, it goes okay. really far. Is that, did I get it? Let's see. Well, there'll be somebody else doing something. There. <laughs> we'll find someone else bored. There are people laughing too. I noticed a couple with big smiles on their face. Are you see? saying that one times five would be six? Yes. Well, what is it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I am. Sorry. Say in the associate, the, the associative and communicative thing. So you're if proposing a and B, the associative and the communicative thing. What does that mean? Are positive integers. It says if A and B are positive integers, A is to be added to itself as many times as is indicated by units in B. So you're not proposing an audit. You're proposing like a, a re- whole, well, I'm not the first one of the way we, we understand math. That. You know what's interesting? In 1856, a man from Liverpool named Richard Dover Statter. He's like, you know what's interesting? 200 years ago, uh, one guy said this, too. <laughs> Challenged the Dewey Decimal System and said that it was wrong. Well then. And created an entirely and, new system. And he was proven wrong and laughed out of his town. He challenged the Dewey wow. Decimal System to a fight and he won yeah. that shit. <laughs> He found out that wasn't a person to show how it can be brought into correction. So I'm not the first person to state this. It's a number of people did it, but look up Richard Dover Statter. Try and find him. You and, won't and, and find you're him. You're not even looking at him. Dewey yeah, defeated Truman. <laughs> look at look at these students. Watch them. Watch them. Oh, they're not yeah. even looking at him. Yeah, they're yeah, not. You're right. They're oh, that's sad. Yeah. I, so the point. Uh, there's no point. You told me right. I, I'm just like, so he's proposing a new system of math where you take the X, the times, and just turn it so it's a plus? Is that yeah. Some of yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think he just yeah, because he's been he's erased from history about. almost. But what is the thing called, honey? Don't honey me, right, Jessica? <laughs> Dewey Decimal System right. as a whole. Don't honey me. Dewey Decimal System as a whole. And you will see. But this is, I mean, if he had a script, he's very <clears throat> powerful, right, Scott? Is this is the sitting? This, he, yeah, this, yeah. Oh, yeah, because he's defending. He's supposed to, they've asked him to be there, and he and he's under the impression he's very smart. He must think, well, I must be brilliant if they're going to ask me to do this. <laughs> so he's he's having to defend his ego in this. I think you're looking at a narcissist here. Because you're seeing all the signs of someone with narcissistic um, um, traits. By the way, by the way, he's see the way he's sitting back like that and calling that girl honey or whatever he called her and and pointing yeah. stuff and he's talking about things he doesn't understand. He's heard whatever he's talking about, but he didn't understand it. I think he's repeating it. It, it blew his mind, I think, but he he doesn't. I don't think he understands what what the hell he's talking about. At yeah. This point. All right. Um... Do you want to watch more of this? I do, I do also want to show everyone they found Prince as a child. Yeah. Um, do, do you guys want to see that? Oh, or do you want can to I see set more this up? Yeah. Um, I, I'm a huge Prince fan. I actually, when I was younger, um, this girl that I, we were on vacation and this, this girl, friend of mine, she loved Prince too. Like we love Prince. And then she thought I looked like Prince, which I don't. And then she's like, "Can I dress you up as Prince?" And then she was like, what? "Yeah, what? she wanted to see if I could really look like Prince." And what so the fuck? she like put makeup on me and eyeliner, and I had you know, and they like penciled like the Prince whatever. And my <laughs> and my dad walked by, and my poor dad was just like, "What's Kyle doing now?" And uh, like puffed my hair up or whatever, and. Um, <laughs> I didn't look like, I don't think I look like, I, there's a picture. I wish I had that picture because it's humiliating. But um, anyway, she sang at a, um, she sang Purple Rain at a talent show. What was the story I was going to tell? Anyway, here's Prince. They There's not much footage. I think this is the only video of him as a kid. Can I found. set this up a little bit? Yes, sorry, Johnny. Go so, ahead. No problem. So um, there's a teacher strike going on right now in the same, in, in the neighborhood in the Twin Cities right now. And somebody at WCCO TV decided to go back and try to find out about the if there's any footage of the one from the 1970s or late 60s. And so that's all they were looking for is just footage of the same kind of picket line. This happened before. And then they found this. So there you go. OK. Well, the, yeah, let me just show Would've you this. Good to cut right to it right there. That was I no, know. But, and, and by the way, that might be in the setup of the story. So if I'm repeating, there you go. 
parents, very few image of the musician's childhood exists until the stroke of luck from a local station, a news station in Prince's hometown. On a film reel of a teacher strike more than 50 years ago, an interview with one student immediately stood out. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Look at him. Wow. Oh, yeah, wow. It's like ready to go. He's so Prince too here. He'll stares down. Are most of the kids adults. in favor of the picketing? Yep. How <laughs> He's like, yup. Stares right at him. Wow. Um, That's um, I think they should get a better education too, cause, um, and I think they should get some more money because they work to be working extra hours for us and all that stuff. <laughs> the first thing I thought was... Isn't that funny? Yeah, wow. Prince. I can't believe that. What if he had asked for his pants as a boy? <laughs> <laughs> Production manager Matt Liddy made the discovery. I immediately just went out to the newsroom and started showing people and saying, I'm not going to tell you who I think this is, but who do you think this is? And every single person, Prince. Yes, that Prince, wow. Prince Rogers Nelson, the yes. Minneapolis born and bred global wow. superstar. But there was one catch. We did not get him saying, I'm Prince Nelson. So we set out to get some confirmation. There's not a ton of images of Prince as a kid. We asked historian Kristen Schaumler, who's extensively researched and written about the purple one, to take a look at the footage. And well. Oh, I think that's him definitely. <laughs> Oh my God. She cry. So cool. And this definitely looks like um, Lincoln Junior High School where he would have been attending school in April of 1970. We also compared it to a photo of Prince when he was believed to be in the sixth grade. Despite the evidence, we still needed someone who knew Prince as a kid to confirm. We go back as far as kindergarten at John Hale Elementary in North Minneapolis. That someone was Terrence Jackson, a childhood friend and neighbor who played in Prince's <laughs> first band, Grand Central, when they were teenagers. That is Prince. <laughs> Standing right through the hat on, right? Yeah, keep watching, keep watching. That's Skipper. Oh my gosh. Skipper. That's him. It, wow, that was him. What do you, uh, <sighs> what do you... <laughs> I am like blown away and flabber, totally, I'm totally blown away. You, mark my words, you guys have found a, a, a real gem. Out. Or most of the kids. The, oh. Yeah, it's cool, right? It's cute. Look yeah. at how they just stare. It, it's just like a, such a Prince thing, just being yeah. a, also a bad interview. He just would say one word and stare at interviewers. <laughs> this is a little boy just to stare right back at this adult. It's in favor of the picketing? Yep. <laughs> like, yep. Now what? Wow. Pro Union. Or That's wait, incredible. To think he was his exact same height as a child. <laughs> Kyle, don't stop, Scott. Will the behavioral panel do the current JDAH case? Yeah. You don't want me to stop doing... you from doing it? Was I stopping you? No. No, you no. no he, they, they were saying, like, Kyle, don't stop, I think, being cool. And then, hey, Scott. Right? I appreciate that. I don't think that's what they meant, but I, I'm going to believe no, they, that. No, they did. It was Kyle, don't stop, and then Scott. It was something oh. to you saying don't stop, and then something yeah. to Scott. Wait, I just realized something. The Dewey Decimal System is just for, like, how library books are stored, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, right. But Why you, would we I need to change that? Who, yeah. But just to, I mean, the last thing about Prince, just years later to know Prince would do this amazing performance. Go, 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 go. <laughs> that little kid ended up being uh, that good. I, I want to let Scott wow. go ahead and answer that question because I know you have an answer. Oh yeah, yeah, we're doing uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard this next uh, next. It'll be, come out next Thursday. I think we're we're cutting it on Tuesday. So follow yeah. Scott Rouse. Follow Scott Rouse and the yeah, behavior team. Wait, bunch of experts. <laughs> we've been waiting for her to, for uh, Amber Heard to to do her her part on there. You know, oh and God. then. Uh, uh, Jessica, baby Jessica. So you got it right. I did. I did spell Amber wrong on the <laughs> I, thumbnail there because my wife's name's Amber and she spells A M B R E, and <laughs> and then the regular way is A M B E R. I noticed so a I snafu just, on on his thumbnail earlier, and I post, posted a comment on his on behavioral panel, and I said, "Is this a snafu?" Her name, yeah, and it was. <laughs> do, you, do you guys remember the story of Amber Heard of how she she was going to donate all the divorce money to charity and then it came out like she just never gave it to the charity she just kept it 
And they have like, oh. these letters from this children's out like, oh, hey, do you have that seven million that? <laughs> wait, wait, let me, let me tell the story. Let me tell the story. <laughs> Six years ago, Amber Heard <laughs> thought about it. It's getting good. Uh, uh, giving. The word give comes from the Latin root. <laughs> happening oh sorry what is happening yes yeah, follow, follow art of the guitar yes if you want to learn how to play the guitar follow wait art what of the was guitar. that yeah he that did study one. chemical engineering he did oh. yeah. i mean three <laughs> semesters but was <laughs> that what that was yeah, gone too soon <laughs> <laughs> rest in peace baby jay I love um, wow hopefully People, not you will be missed you will be missed. <laughs> Wendell be my forehead. Wendell be, will Wendell buy my forehead? <laughs> be, oh, buy, yeah. Be mm. or buy. Those are two very different things. Either one does not make that make sense. <laughs> no. Yes, I will. Whatever you want me to be. <laughs> I like I'll be I'll whatever be you want. <laughs> 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 All right, let's try it. Uh, All right, we're done with Terrence. We're done with Johnny. Right? Do we want to? Uh, I want to show a couple of videos that I found <coughs> because I've Sorry. been trying to find you know just videos to cheer everybody up. If someone <laughs> yeah. has a better idea on how to organize a library, I want to hear it. Terrence Howard does. <laughs> yeah, if you take one book and you times it up by another book. All the books are the same book, so it doesn't matter where we put them. For consider doing Alec Baldwin doing Trump. Oh, Alec doing Trump. That's interesting. <laughs> Alex, Alec Baldwin's Trump is, I think, the, me personally, I think it's the worst Trump out there. How dare you? You know nothing. You know nothing <laughs> of Trump impressions. I do the essence of Trump, really. I have his soul at my very fingertips. <laughs> For example, let's say... Um, Trump is giving a speech on global warming. <laughs> he might say something like, it's terrific. <laughs> or, I'm great at global warming. <laughs> That's my impression. Nice work. <laughs> they sound similar. So terrible. Terrible impression. The worst. Gotta be the worst. <laughs> Are you gonna miss that? Are you gonna... Are you gonna miss Sacramento? Are you gonna miss Sacramento? on your tour? Are you gonna Are you gonna be stopping in Sacramento? He is stopping. Yes, in then yeah. next weekend I'm in Sacramento, mm -hmm. right? Not this weekend. Next weekend I go to Sacramento, then I go to San Francisco, Portland, San Diego, oh, Tempe, it's, Arizona. It's Portland, then San Francisco. I think. Okay. Check your fever. I think you're wrong. No, you're right. Um, and we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be trying to do our show there. We're gonna do a few bits. We're gonna do some Mr. Ed game and some what you're talking about Biden. So come join us. Say hello on the road to us. When you do that, what do you care? What are you taking with you? Are you taking like road cases? How much stuff do you have? I got a. I I am like the carrot top of tech. I, I have so <laughs> many things I bring. Um, they usually provide like a piano or something if I want to do that. But mm -hmm. I have this like a mixing board and I have my laptop and um, a lot of wires and I have like a loop machine that I'm trying to figure out, but I, I don't have a bit for that yet. It's a, it's a from lot your, of stuff. From the, from like your first album, that thing. Yeah. 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 Your, yeah. I'm trying to do good. impressions and, and loop them, but it's kind of crazy. I don't know if that's going to work, but this hat I also bring. <laughs> and some wigs Airport. and we're going to figure it out. Some wigs, some wigs. Buy pickle is a lock. I we should we should lock a pickle. Pickle here. locked. Mr. Nichols got a little pickle for you. <laughs> Not that we used to watch that every morning. Oh. It would be on in the mornings. 
Well, but, so there were yeah, we, we'll bring that back. Morning. We'll do it. We'll do you it did? Right. Amber Heard left a picture yeah. in my bed. Every day. <laughs> you that. When you were doing those, you guys I were knocking love, those out every yeah, day. Every week. Every yeah. day. Every day. Yeah. yeah. Remember, we yeah. did it. One point. We did it every yeah. day, five days a week, Craig's News at, at first. Oh, remember? John, it's future you, John. <laughs> Stop uh, yes. doing Craig's News. Wait, why? why is Stop I... doing it, John. It's a waste of your time. Our time, LOL. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. You're, that's future me, Scott. Right there. I think future, I look like I look future kind. Future us, LOL. <laughs> I feel like my eyes right. are kind. They, we do have kind eyes, me, LOL. <laughs> Everyone loves Future John character. Future John says LOL a lot. I don't remember him. He in the does. Why do you do that? Why do you say I LOL? Know, it's so funny. Much. Every once in a while I say LOL, but I guess in, I every guess in the future, once in a while <laughs> we love LOL. <laughs> Past just, John. Why is there a small box of Kyle next to Future John? <laughs> don't stop pointing out. Why is that there? That's fucking everything up. Why is that there? I don't so know. Future John has a tiny Kyle. Yes, I, I cloned Kyle. I don't understand how Future John is is so much better shaped than me, and yet has even more chins than I do, and I'm like way heavier than that dude. We, skin's loose. we had a fat removal from our chin, and <laughs> yeah. we had a loose skin. <laughs> That's what happens after you lose a lot of weight. So congrats That's on That's true, weight. Kerp. Lol. Thank you, Kerp. <laughs> this would be better if I wasn't in the picture. Kind of funny. That is wild stuff. Brian Kirk. <laughs> will we ever get a finale of La Cafeteria or yes, will we pause we perform it? Live? We should do La Cafeteria at live shows. Yeah. We cite Quince USS Indianapolis monologue from Jaws. How does it, yeah, what is that monologue? Shark's That's eyes, the like a doll's eyes. Remember? What is that monologue? His eyes that are dark. The... They're black. Yeah, <laughs> that cat eyes. picture they have. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, Scott, how did it go? Oh no, I was just doing that. Impressive. Yeah, the monologue is the one where where he talks about he was on the USS Indianapolis and the sharks came, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could do that monologue. Sure. <laughs> it was six years ago. <laughs> first thought about getting a boat. Ember heard had just taken a dookie on my other boat, and I thought of getting a new one. <laughs> There are three things that a man cannot tolerate. Lies, lies, and lies. <laughs> then what happened? <laughs> then what happened? Nothing happened. He, he forgot. That wasn't the story was so long, he forgot what he was doing. <laughs> Here, oh Jason, what are you doing here, God, Jason? Doing here, Jason? Too. Louis, rest in peace, Godfrey. Yeah, oh my god, a lot of people died. Oh, Anderson, Wait, oh, Anderson. Louis Anderson, yeah. All right, let's get show some videos and wrap this up. Did we want any? Did anybody else have something they wanted to share with everybody? A video, I, I'm watching this video, it makes me laugh so hard, and I don't know why, but. Let's see if you guys like it. We used to do a laugh challenge. We just give that. Do we give that up? Laugh challenge. I guess we gave that up. What? What do you mean with a uh, with each other? Or do you want to? Do you want somebody in here? I don't want to spit water on my new computer. <laughs> do we want to have? Does someone? Want, yeah, let's get someone in there if they want. Uh, oh yeah, get a person. Oh wait, hold on. What? <laughs> okay, no, it's already good, a right? Fire. Oh a, shit! Yeah. <laughs> This is one of my favorite videos. Wee! It's gonna be brutal. Wee! Wee! <laughs> oh, if he hadn't said we so much. Wow. Wow. The, the we makes it more tragic. Wee! Because he's having such a good time. Wee! <laughs> wee! <laughs> It's the uh, Wii. Do you want to see what happened next, though? Because, <laughs> like, his knee is in the fire. Oh, oh. If, he said, if he said owl, like Prince, yeah. that would be pretty classy. <laughs> go, 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 go.
better than that. If that Wouldn't you change? I know his line was "ow." He's gonna say "ow" no matter what. But after you fall, you should change that to "woo" or something. Excuse me from across the. Oh, I across the funny. pond, you know. Across the pond, the UK pond. There it is. HMU for a UK doodly do. Did you know Paul McCartney's Blackbird? What do you know? Blackbird, take your broken yeah. wings and learn to fly. That that was about the black students at that segregated school in Georgia. You know, they yeah, I know it's a civil rights thing. <laughs> but was he calling the Paul? Were you calling to check a Blackbird? <laughs> like that's just. You know, you just call it a, that's what we call them birds, yeah, you know. <laughs> that's what we call girls, where I'm from. You know, they're called <laughs> birds, you know. Look at that bird over there. She's a pretty bird, you know. Women are like birds, you know. They're pretty, they're hard to catch, you know. And then when they get in your house, you're like, how do I get this fucking bird out of my house? <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit for you. That's a bit. Paul, you relate, to, you relate to Johnny, right? Absolutely. I relate to, to future John the most. You know, future John. <laughs> I meant Depp. <laughs> oh, Depp. That guy's a boy. I'm trying to be future John. LOL. Could Remember? you imagine a girl being, you know, you, you get with Johnny Depp, you're like, I'm with Johnny Depp. And then after an hour, you're like, oh my God, I have to listen to all of these stories. She probably <laughs> shit the bed to get out of the story. <laughs> That's, that's one way out, I guess. Um, this is something that will just, this is uh, this caption, this will never happen again. The odds of this, if you had a million throws, it would never happen. Holy shit. Did you see that? Wow. Like someone threw a ball from some other place and he swung and hit both of them. What the wow. Holy shit. It's just a interesting. Wow. It's not like funny, but. Cool. Guy's life. Right, everyone buy it. Buy, oh, did I say his name wrong? I'm sure. No, I did. you said it right. Brian. Said it right. Brian. Look at me go. I was Brian. Gonna say Brian. It's pronounced Brian. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Brian. I have one more video, and then I'll let you guys um, have a great Thursday. You didn't puke. I did puke. Paul and the pickle. Where's the, the pickle, pickle, you know? The pickle. An iconic duo, really, with the pickle. Mr. Nichols got a little pickle for you. Okay, wait. <laughs> are, you, are you trying to put the pickle uniform on? I'm trying on? to put the pickle uniform <laughs> put on. Put on your uniform. But put on your pickle. I just want to thank you guys for being call, amazing. Hey, Blay, will you say a prayer for baby Jessica in case she's going to meet a maker? <laughs> Jessica, you know. I just, I just want to, just, I just want to have you anointed by the Lord and just Hosanna on high and exalt your tail, dude. Hosanna, exile, yeah, fucking yeah. Deo, dude. That's right. I just want you to know it says in Deuteronomy <laughs> when you're going to be in the crown virus, dude. Deuteronomy, like, dude. That's right. <laughs> And you're Dude. just going to take it. You're going to glorify the Lord with your own. Glorify your, it. The lack of taste buddeth and, and nasal Do, does situation. Not, doth, doth not you affect to your to awesomeness. Yeah. So just Where'd good she luck. go, Dude. Come there to Bible is. study. Hey, hey, Josh. Josh. Yeah. There's uh, many opportunities to come to Bible study this week. We got Bible study Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Dude, and my Saturday. earphones aren't working. What? <laughs> There's here, definitely opportunities uh, for you to come to Bible study. Dude, I'm hearing like every third word, dude. <laughs> well, the word of the Lord can break through all of that. And I just hope you come to Bible study. Let's talk so. about, let's talk about Jessica. Because Jana had COVID. She was not having it, dude. <laughs> well, that's really true. And Jessica has COVID right now, right? Dude, yes. Pro tell me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was Eclastides, dude, that Please said yes, unto Jesus. thee, 1114, right? dude. Yeah, unto thee, and then it said a little more. Why don't you try to remember that? Dude, I remember it, but I don't want to hog up the after party, dude. <laughs> All right. Josh, does anybody ever tell you you look like uh, Ed C. McGinley, the actor? Dude, really? everyone <laughs> says that, dude. Who is that guy? He was like is he handsome? Scrubs. Oh, like yeah. Scrubs that dude's hot. Hot as <laughs> F. Thanks, Laura. Dude, oh, Ruberitz is here, dude. There's Ruberitz. Can Craig ask Mr. Mouse where he's originally from? 
Oh, great. Sorry, sorry Cody. Put that other one back up. Yeah. All right, screwing up. Hey, Miss, Mr. Mouse, where are you from, Mr. Mouse? Oak Ridge, Tennessee. That's where I'm right now. I'm at my parents' house. Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Oh, that's a that's a nice area. I've uh, I think I've got some friends out there in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. That's uh, this is where they developed all the nuclear or most of the nuclear most of nuclear most of the nuclear yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the atomic bomb they dropped on yeah Japan that, 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 they dropped the atomic bomb on on there a few times <laughs> so I know I, I've seen, I've heard that place. He's got rouses that near Rocky Top, Rocky Top, Tennessee. <laughs> it is. It's Rocky real Top, close. Tennessee. Okay. It really oh. is. It's like 20 minutes away. Yay! <laughs> My kids are terrified of Wendell. Is that what that said? The, <laughs> the Wendell glass. So it's like an adventure for them when they when you use it. <laughs> yeah. All glasses. All right. Mark, hey Mark, how you doing? Uh, Mark has a nice just, smile. Um. I'm not. Uh, wait, where where is the show tonight? The show's you're, right now. You're on it. But this right, isn't right the now. regular show. This is like a, a podcast or something. Well, though this is the after party, so it's just it's not after the show. But there was no show before it. But you said, but the, but you, but you said this is a show. Yeah, so this is a show, but it's just kind of more casual hangout show. So so, so what? Wait, what? You go. Were you? Gonna... <laughs> what do you want to say? Were you talking because I was uh, you were talking. Where was I supposed to be talking? You can talk now. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> <Man>. Now we're just <laughs> fucking around. All right, we're gonna wrap up this after party, which has been fun. Oh. Look how many ain't British. He's dead. Wait, is that true? What was that? Oh God! What was that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Dude, Mark smiling was really big something. hugs. Thank you for still doing after part tonight. You guys are two broopers. Get well soon, Jess and Kyle. Thank you, Kayla. If you want a night nurse, yes, I do, Kayla. Consider yourself DM'd. <laughs> it's not clear what's wrong with Kyle, though. I have to say, <laughs> it just I just know that I am as bad as Jessica, whatever that is, and I deserve as much attention. Is that uh, what Mr. It is? Mr. Oh. Yes. I feel very nauseous. Mr. Rout, uh, <laughs> do you know what a night nanny is that um, Laura was talking about? Is it Laura? No idea. Sounds dirty. It's a. It's not dirty at all, actually. Oh. It's a It's a business that I want to start where, you know, at night you're like watching TV on the couch and you fall asleep and you're like, oh, I have to get up, floss, brush my teeth, get in bed. Mm. This someone comes in. It's an app. You just order, you order night, the closest night nanny, comes over, picks you up, <laughs> Put you in bed, oh, yeah. losses you, nice creams on your face, and then leaves. Right? Yes. And then like, you, say, you hungry? They say you're hungry. Actually, you're hungry. Yeah, I thought you were going to say they blow you. Like, you know how when you fall asleep on the couch you and you brush your teeth, they blow you? Oh, yeah, that, that, then they blow you. That's true. I forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, I would, I'd get that. I'd that's get that. great, right? Night nanny. Yeah. All right, I've, yeah, that's great, man. Did I've, you get the, the uh, URL? I, I think um, I think you're the only one who actually really wants a night nanny. No, I, I think it'd be I, awesome. See, <laughs> it's it's, like it I is know. awesome. It's a great yeah, idea. I'm, totally into, I'm down with it. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. My wife might not be into it. As a, as a child, <laughs> that you were visited by the night hag. K D and K M. K D is me. K M would be. Don't tell me. Kurt Metzger. <laughs> oh. Midwest. So. I would That's say, like, when are you guys going to get out to the Midwest where I live? I By the way, maybe I'm out fall? here. Maybe fall or winter. What's the Midwest? Maybe? What are you Because it's That's Iowa, Where Minnesota, are Iowa, actually? Michigan, you know. Don't Indiana. ignore where John's from. All right, I got one more video to go, to go out on. Right? John, when are you going to not be in the Midwest? That was the question for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is. Oh, I blew the whole oh. video. One of my favorites. Have you seen this? Oh yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I've saved it. It's a really good fall. He's on the top of the. I'm not sure why he's on the top of the fridge. Spider I like Man. the Lucky Charms. I love Lucky Charms. He's making Spider Man hands. Oh, he's doing yeah, Spider Man. Oh. Okay. He does anything as Spider Man can. Was he trying to fall, or did he, something get fucked up? No. no. It like <laughs> I don't think That's he was trying. That's really good. It reminds me of this one. 
Aren't they in the same genre? They're in the same genre. <laughs> yeah, same man. Same genre. John, I'm already looking for you. Yay. All right. Hey, uh, Kyle. Yeah. Before we go, um, there people are asking for some yo's. Yo, let's go out with some. Let's go out with some yo's. That sounds good. Let's go out with some yo's. Where's my yo 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 yo? <laughs> Do we want to do any plugs before we go out with some yours? Um, of yeah, course, come see, come see the uh, we're in the area. Come see us live. KyleDunnigan.com. Kyle the greatest Kyle. website in the world. It was created by our own baby Jessica, who hey. doesn't have much time left on this earth, but the time <laughs> she's been here was fantastic. Hey, uh, Sly. <laughs> Yo. May 5th, May 5th through the 7th, I'm going to be at Sandman's Comedy Club in Richmond, Virginia. You can go to KermaskaComedy.com to get the tickets. Don't go to that. I demand all my Scalonians not to attend. <laughs> <laughs> if oh, yeah, you, if I find out you went, you're not allowed to watch the show no more. How will you stop them from watching? I stop. You, you worry about yourself. <laughs> I don't worry about the Scalonians. You know? Hey, Johnny B, you got some plug? You know what? I have an uh, MC coming up at the uh, Funny Bone Des Moines in uh, May. Just go to the Funny Bone. The more you learn about. Just go to the Funny Bone. Funny Bone Funny... Uh, DSM, yep. Funny Bone. Scott Ross, what do you got for us? Uh, the behavior panel is going to be in Las Vegas, the 7th through the 10th. Hey. Uh, a big, it's like a convention kind of thing that we're doing. That so cool. it's going to be pretty cool, I think. Cool. Where's that going to be? What what uh, place there? Oh, I can't remember which one it is. Good, because okay. I'm trying to be involved with it, but it's like so much goes on with it. It makes me gives me the heebie-jeebies. It's All too right. it's too too much with it, you know. So I'm trying yep. to be part of it, but not trying to get into the intricacies of, of how. Are you, you going to have any times to go to shows there while you're there? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I know we're doing it. We're going to go. We're going to have a shooting thing. I think uh, all these guys are going to together and go shooting. There are a couple of really great ranges out there. Cool. So we're going to do Where? that in, in Vegas. Las Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. Do you mind if I come with you? To the <laughs> you can't go. No, you're, the, you're the only one that can't go. No. Both yeah. Kyle and John were just in Vegas recently. That's How was right. it? It was amazing. I, I lost so much money. I went to the Medieval Times, which was so fun. It's so dumb. It's fun. Wow. I always wanted to go there. It's just they're like, I you know, declare a duel. And then their their swords are so far apart. You yeah, know? and then they, oh, they don't fall down. Fight for real, huh? They don't really fight with swords. That would be a. They do, but it's like they'll go super slow if they're close. And they'll be like, "You do this, and I'll go." And they go, <laughs> and then or if they're fast, they're like really far away, and then they fall, and then like fireworks will go off, like they exploded. I highly <laughs> recommend it. They give you a full chicken. They just give you a hen and potatoes and no forks. And you have to just like rip the chicken open and just hold uh. the potatoes, and it's great. Wow. I uh I have like a uh this girl next to me was so unimpressed though it was so funny and I, I videotaped <laughs> her because she was could not have been I was all excited. Um while you look for that, Scott, check out Absinthe. Go to it's at the Caesars Palace. It's it's a circus show that's raunchy and dirty. It's the greatest show you'll ever see, Absinthe. And I'm telling you, it is hilarious. There's an insult comic that hosts it. It's the oh, yeah? cool shit show to see right now and, and you'll be blown away. Where is, it, where is it? Caesar's Palace. It's right, right in front of Caesar's Palace, right by um, uh, the, the guy uh, Hell's Kitchen, Gordon Ramsay's oh, okay. Hell's Kitchen, and you will oh, okay. be blown away. And it's like they have a ten o'clock show, and it's total raunch, awesome, dirty, oh, burlesque circus, and it's bad. You never saw somebody spin a plate with your <laughs> vagina before? Uh, yeah, it's like well, that. The third also, time you see it. It's also, not. if you love the Beatles, you should check out Beatles Love Show. It's really cool too. I mean, yeah. um, okay. I went there recently. Uh -huh. In Nashville, they're having that thing, the the, uh, the big comedy thing this weekend, man. Every this week, everybody's there. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Everybody's there, there, man. I mean, it's, it's Big like, J, yeah, Dan, so all of them are there. The whole bonfire wow. people are there. I never yeah, so heard I, of that. The Ruby Ray's there. 
No one yeah. can notify everybody. Me about it. <laughs> we were we were not notified. The Everybody Festival. I was there. <laughs> Everyone. What? Well, it's it's packed. Mm-hmm. We'll be at the Nobody Festival over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm at yeah. Iowa Corn Fest. <laughs> Yo, let's go out with some yos. Yo. Hey. Yeah, um, we got some yos. Somebody posted they wanted Craig to sing me a lullaby. By the way, you up for that? <laughs> oh my God. Do I have lullaby noise? Sleep, sleep well. Rest your head, don't don't be shy. Just look up to the skies, and you'll find that that is where Jesus lives. Jesus lives up. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> All right, what? let's get some yells. Do what? Did you have a question there, Kerb? No. Come on, <laughs> yo. Where are the yells? Look at There's that. G gives a yo. Look at that. Ready out with the yo. Come on. That's the same yo. Come there on, let's go. get a bunch of yells. Thanks for watching the after party. Join the channel. You can see the after party every week. Come on. Look at that, Ginger Joe. Let's get some quick yo's in there. Yo, G yo, Larry yeah, Daniels. Yo. yo, excuse me. Excuse me. Russell Pickham. Then it's gonna be enough to test yo. Zap says yo. Nate Brown says yo. Welcome to the Apple Podcast. It's a mom and Come on into the Apple Podcast.